Let's begin. Here we go! Oh. Hi, everybody! Start the insanity. You are not worried, are you? Me? No. Well, we're waiting. Hello, welcome to Super Media All Stars. We are a weekly podcast, and tonight we are talking about video games. I'm your host, John Harris, and tonight I'm joined by three other All Stars. First one being Jake Boston. God of War. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Andy Guild. Aurora Borealis, at this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. And making his first guest star appearance on Smitty All-Star, Seth Churchill. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I didn't know we had all, all these cool intros, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, They're not cool. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, don't worry. You know what? Uh, I have a website. Go to synx.com. <laughs> S-I-N-N-X.com. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, first, buy my uh, shit. No, first sponsor. <laughs> Weird right? plug. Yeah, first sponsor. There you go. Yeah. You don't get any money. Though. Sorry. <laughs> we got a great episode of tonight. We'll be talking about our God of War hopes and hype for the new game coming out next week. I think it's April 20th. 420, bro. Yeah. 420. Oh, man. Uh, where we also talk about the God of War Origins. And I think most of us have played the games here, so we're going to talk about what we want from the old games going into the new. And then we're going to transition into some of our favorite hack and slash and beat em up games going with the God of War theme. But first, guys, it's been about a month since we talked video games. Have you guys had a chance to uh, play anything new? Um, a couple things, like nothing really to talk about, but I guess I'll talk about them anyway. Yeah, go for it. Uh, played some Pac-Man 256. You ever played that? Uh-uh. Anybody? Is that is that really considered new, though? No, it's like yeah, a year and a half old. <laughs> is, is that the one that's at the arcade? Yeah, it's where kind like of. uh, it's kind of like an endless runner a little bit, and oh, there's, okay. like the corruption from the bottom is trying to like kill you. So you, it's like an endless Pac-Man huh. maze, and you gotta try to keep on going. And there's different power ups that you can get. Like there's like a, a doppelganger that'll give you like two Pac-Man chasing eat ghosts, and just a bomb cherry that does stuff. Super fun, super addicting. It's one of those games where like you play like five minutes and then it's done, and you're like, oh, I want to go again and again and again. Yeah, so classic. Yeah, it's like, so it's like sex, you know. <laughs> yeah. exactly like uh-huh. sex there you actually duplicate during <laughs> intercourse and there's two of you hey there you go hmm? Nails it. Like a watchman style i think they call that <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. i uh wrapped up uh wolfenstein 2 the new colossus oh, oh nice. damn time i know that's only took me forever but man that game was good yeah there's all that game has some major like what wtf moments mm-hmm. and it yeah it just kept me enthralled actually I wish I would have wrapped it up in a short amount of time to take the impact of the entire game. Sure. Because I had to remind myself of like what just happened and mm-hmm. what am I doing now. Um, but I recommend right. that game if you guys are in for like a nice 15 shoot 'em up or first person. Did you play the first one? Yes. Is it on par with the first one? Uh, the first one takes itself really seriously. Yeah, well, this, this one doesn't? This one has, just has fun. That's it's, good. It's just Nazi killing fun. Yeah, I was actually surprised like because I read reviews for the second one, and I went back and played the first one, and I was surprised at how seriously it took itself. I mean, there's a little bit of levity and jokes, but yeah. it was a little shocking. Uh, I also got a chance to like, experiment with uh, Bayonetta on Switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Tea. Mm. No? no? Really? Oh, no. Maybe, maybe it's just Bayonetta 1. But maybe no one. Two time. is way better than one. I'm one hoping. takes a long time to like actually get going. Okay, because I'm like I was like three hours in a bayonetta one. And it's just like man, this is this is dragon. I would even say you can skip one and go straight to two. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oof. See, mm-hmm. bayonetta one is so bad yeah, that well. I actually switch gears and start playing Golf Story on Switch. Oh yeah, how do you like that? <laughs> that is that is like just relaxing fun. Is it a top oh, ten man. game from last year? <laughs> Seth has no idea. What's yeah, going I don't, on I don't right know now. what that is. But that sounds like the worst game. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Golf, golf simulation. <laughs> it's like tractor simulator or something. Like, what are you doing? No, nah, Golf Story is my like number eight golf game story. from last year to to a lot of controversy. Not so really. We, we yeah. got a lot of haters online when I said that. Uh, good RPG though. Like, yeah. I'm like six hours into the game and it's addicting. It's like Mario Golf with RPG elements. So <laughs> hell yeah, I'm digging Fun it. Stuff. Yeah, uh, I've been playing some uh, Hearthstone. There was a new boot, a new expansion pack came uh, out. Hey, whoa, watch it. I got I gotta give my Blizzard update every time. Uh yeah, Parthstone had a new expansion and they started the Year of the Raven. They go off of like this yearly rotation of uh, of cards. So you mm-hmm. can only use the last uh, two years of cards. So a bunch of cards went out of rotation and I was able to dust them, which is like you get currency for them, you can build new cards you want. So, uh, so is that every two years is like the slate clean for new players? 
Uh, kind of. So if if you started right now, and which you should, Jake's shaking his head, and this is the most boring conversation. <laughs> Jake's making I've had faces. In a while. Hey, you know what? The, the beauty of editing. Cut it all. I don't care. Mm, but oh, uh, yeah, just make weird sounds in the background, make it interesting. <laughs> well, if you make enough weird sounds, John will have to cut it. Yeah, that's, I know. That's the beauty. Oh, <laughs> well, then the whole thing could be cut. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw this one out. Uh, no. So if, if you wanted to start playing right now, you'd be able to buy boosters from last year and the new one, and you'd have the basic set, which is like the base cards that you need to play the game. It's only number one card game out there so it yeah makes it sense. is it's way better than gwent fuck gwent oh i love gwent i'm calling gwent out on oh, this man. podcast yeah they're coming back they're coming at you <laughs> come at him man <laughs> and uh catching up on horizon still still great nothing new to report seth anything you've been playing lately um i started playing Mo- I, I didn't play mortal kombat x when it came out and so you know i just bought mortal kombat xl and um it's good shit yeah no doubt about that like playing that for the first time the first time i busted it out was with a couple of my buddies you know and uh oh there's nothing more fun than playing his leather face and stuff that, yeah that's one of the best looking games like the cinematic modes when you kill people just like literally you just sit there and just everybody goes wow what the hell every time something happens and i mean it's like feel like you haven't had that in forever since in a Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. game or anything. You know, does, just... does it still do those X-ray things where you like oh, do yeah. a combo and it breaks their bones and it's, shit? It's yep. the best of so everything cool. you can imagine for Mortal Kombat. It yeah. really is the best thing ever. I mean, from what I've seen, and I haven't played it enough to really, mm. but like I played a little bit of it where it's like I've played the other games and this game is not like those. So, you know. We right. played it when it first came out. We rented it, didn't we? Sure did. Yeah. And man, the Cinemax, like Nether- NetherRealm is killing it yeah. with... Mm. They did it with Injustice too. Oh yeah, yeah. Injustice, oh, Injustice is beautiful. Injustice. Injustice looks really good. I know. Fantastic. I really want to play that DLC yeah. with the Ninja Turtles. I, I just I really want to play. Yeah. It. I just want to play because it, yeah. it looks so. It looks so pretty. I, I'm not into fighting games really. I mean, the same reason I bought Dragon Ball Fighters. It just looks really good. I want to yeah. play yeah. it, but mm-hmm. I'm not into it at all. It's beautiful. Like yeah. I mean, just the cinematic stuff. <laughs> Or the chainsaw effects with the sparks and stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. well, here, here's my only my only qualm right now. All right. And I never have qualms because that's who uses that <laughs> word anymore. Right? No. Um. The thing is, they have Leatherface, and from what I know, I haven't seen Freddy, and no Freddy's in there. No Freddy, right? I think no, so. he was in like the old Mortal Kombat game. Yeah, like yeah. But okay, yeah. but then that makes it even more bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm playing as Leatherface, and or, I mean I'm playing not Leatherface, man. Freaking uh, Jason. Jason. Why yeah. am I talking about that? Oh. Yes, Jason. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. It is Friday. The How 13th. do you not know the Friday? Difference hey, between... Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. You don't know the together. difference between two large guys who are immortal with big knives yeah, what, yeah really they're literally the same thing <laughs> they basically are an indestructible guy coming towards you. no but yeah the, the thing is you have jason and you don't have freddy i mean all you want to do is play freddy versus jason what mm-hmm. are we doing here <laughs> honestly they should just make a mortal kombat game that's all horror characters and i would freak Ooh, out and buy that, would, that yeah that'd be a good game a really good i idea. feel like they're really close to that dude they're yeah. they know they mm-hmm. know it they made that game they yeah. have alien they have alien in it i mean it's not they have predator in it yeah they have yeah. predator yeah. too Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did it. They they were grinding that line. It's like just release a Halloween game yeah. straight up. That would be so awesome. Like, leprechaun really versus cool. Chucky. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dude, Chucky. Need, need I was leprechaun, say Chucky. Yeah. Chucky. Leprechaun is like an unlockable character. Oh, man, I was saying gonna say Chucky. That's the one I think about. He'd be small, but like really <laughs> break the game. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like he'd be like a Yoda and Soul Calibur. You just he's yeah. just short. You got to work around yeah, him. That'd, that'd be true. awesome. <laughs> And then Jigsaw's little puppet comes out. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he does nothing. <laughs> he rides a tricycle and has no yeah, he skills. He makes you uh, dig your eye out with a spoon. That's his ability. <laughs> he, he just keeps asking if you want to play a game. Yeah. You're like, I already am. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're a uh, Pac-Man game. Yeah, my but, Pac-Man game. No, it made me think of a story that came out lately about the Donkey Kong guy. Oh, Billy Mitchell? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a dumb fuck. Uh, I thought you liked Billy Mitchell. For, uh, audio, He's a uh, huge idiot. What are you talking hang on, hang on. about? Before, uh, li- just for the listeners. He reminds is, me of you. <laughs> who, is, oh, great. who is Billy Mitchell for people I'm who don't kidding. know? Uh, he's the guy who uh, controversially held the Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, actually, world records well, for a long that, time. Yeah. There was like a, sh- a movie King made of Kong. about that. Yeah, King, yeah, of, King Kong. of Kong. Yeah. That was awesome. That's one of my favorite documentaries ever. It's, yeah. full it's a really good documentary. But, so it uh, is, yeah. Yeah, recently, I think it was it was a few days ago, they uh, they stripped him of his title and I actually watched the YouTube video that exposed him. Yeah. It was a... Like uh, little frames that... Yeah. Showing so, that he played on like a MAME cabinet. Yeah, well, they, they knew he played on MAME because... Uh, and MAME is... Uh, an emulator for yeah. an arcade machine, basically. So mm-hmm. you could play yeah. it on a PC if you wanted to. But uh, they 
so the the world record run that he had was on a VHS tape that he submitted to Twin Galaxies, which is like the record keeping authority for uh, video game Hall of Fame is yeah. there too. It's all based out stuff. of Otumwa, Iowa. Yeah, it's, it's a guy oh, yeah, in his yeah, basement. He made himself official. <laughs> Basically, I mean, he, he yeah, it was like his house or something. I think. And he yeah. sent in a VHS like how long ago? Because uh, they're still using VHSs. He, he actually sent in the VHS while another guy was about to break his record, showing his new record, Jesus. which wow. is why, why it was so controversial. Why would you want that life? Like, man, come <laughs> on. <laughs> because he, that guy, like, turned his Donkey Kong fame into, like, barbecue sauce he was Money, selling. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. he did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he uh, made that the documentary we all watched. Let's mm-hmm. get real. That's what the whole point was, right? He made the, all... Uh, so, so he had that VHS. Some guy on YouTube proved that he used an emulator because the... There was like a half second difference in the load time between screens on MAME versus the original arcade, which is what mm-hmm. Twin Galaxies was saying you had to use. And also there was a like a VHS artifact on the top that like, you know, like that static bar that would like move. Yeah. And sometimes it would move over the score and then there'd be a weird jitter on the screen. Oh, so they Jesus. were thinking he like cut it and then it wasn't a, a single run and all and that. no one's test- contested this VHS tape for this many years? No. Uh, because the guy who runs Twin Galaxies and holds all the records is like mm-hmm. friends with this guy. And yeah. oh. Billy Mitchell being the record holder is like good for business. Billy Mitchell like helped make Twin Galaxies. Like he's yeah. the first person ever, like people were there in the crowd to get the kill screen on Pac Man. Yep. Oh. Which is, oh, I know. Yeah. You get like every single fruit, every single pellet, kill every single ghost mm. for 256 levels. Yeah, wow. and, and then the, the last level of that stuff, all that stuff disappears. It's like a really weird looking. Yeah. Yeah, this I mean, you can go out. look it up. Yeah, it glitches out. Mm-hmm. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. But they, they, uh, so Guinness holds the records too, and Guinness used Twin Galaxies as their reference to sit to like verify all these records. Mm-hmm. So Guinness also, after this Billy Mitchell thing came out, and Twin Galaxies took his uh pe- his Donkey Kong record away, they also said, "Well, Guinness is not going to accept your Pac Man records either because Twin Galaxies we no longer trust." <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. Wow. So <laughs> your life is pointless. <laughs> yeah. So so Guinness is like. <laughs> The, the thing I already said, Guinness is seeking the true record holder. <laughs> like, Fatality. Okay. Well, if, you're, if you can't trust that company, who are you going to trust? Yeah, I, I don't know who's, who's going to verify this Who's the next now? in line to keep all this uh, Some guy who says, hey, I'm the guy. I'm the record guy. Mm-hmm. I, I'm that guy. If you guys want to send me tapes of your games, yeah. I'll probably watch them and tell you you're awesome. And then guess what? I'm official. You know what? Uh, it's funny people still send in VHS tapes now. <laughs> in 2018. You know, I'm thinking, Jake, we're in your basement. We're in Iowa. Yeah, we are. Why not start a new arcade hall of fame? Let's do it right now. <laughs> yeah, this is the... <laughs> Jane, do the intro again. It's, it's the arcade hall of fame. Yep. <laughs> Does the it's Billy funny. guy go back and try again? Nah, fuck him. He can't. Oh, you think he's done? I highly doubt it. I, I I think he will make some kind of statement or try or do something, but I don't think he never. I think he's it. banned for life. He he's banned from Twin Galaxies, but yeah, I, I bet Guinness wouldn't let him try either. Yeah. I bet not huh? either. Huh. But he screwed him basically. Like Cause he, he kind of said, "Screw yeah. all of you." Like you know, that's kind of like everybody should reject him. Yeah. So because he flat out lied. Yeah. He, yeah. Cl- he claimed it was on an arcade cabinet. Yep. Mm-hmm. And this yeah. and, and that's the worst crime of all. <laughs> Lying about a video game score. All of this is so pathetic. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like this playground guy, shenanigans. That, this guy's lasted like 40 years just doing yeah. this for his life. Yep. It's nuts. How yeah. long did he cry? Like how much you think he's still crying? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> All right, that being said, let's jump into the next portion of our show, and that is going to be the God of War talk. We got a new God of War game coming out in a week, and it's just going to be called God of War. But before we get to the new game, we thought we'd go over the God of War Origins. And that would be the original trilogy, and there's a few spinoffs here and there, but we won't go too much into those unless you guys have some personal experience with those games. But I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. How many of you guys have actually played the original trilogy? Yep. yep, come on. I was going to say, right? It's kind of like a video game staple mm-hmm. for yeah. any kind of kid in our, or doll in our age. Yeah, if you were a teenager yeah. with a PS2, you played mm. these games. God of War 1 came out when we were in high school back in, what, 2006, 7, probably? Yeah, that was. You know, I think it was 2006 was the first God of War. First one so was 05. We was it 05? Okay, yeah. so we were like either sophomores or juniors in high school. Uh, you guys remember how God of War 1 started off? Isn't it like a giant war? Is that how that one started? Or is that two? It's a cutscene of him killing himself, suicide. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what got and he's me falling in. off the cliff, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, right. that's such a oh, good my opening. God, yeah. That, yeah. that just sucks you in right away. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm going on a journey because that's my main character. What's he doing? He's dead? I don't think so. 
did the Greek mythology like cap- encapsulate you guys back then? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Most easily. definitely. And who? Yeah. I mean, the stories of Greek mythology are just beyond amazing. It's mm. such a good idea for a game. Well, that it's and so like good. Um, God of War, they're all rated M for obvious reasons. Yeah. Super bloody. Yeah. Well, that and like learning yes. we, we learned greek mythology in high school and guess what it's yep. dark and gory as shit mm-hmm. and that's what kratos does mm-hmm. in these games yeah, i think i think when it was coming out it was about the same time that i was learning greek mythology like in whatever ap english or whatever the hell it was so i when i started playing it i was like i recognize like all these characters i know they're all shit bags so i don't feel bad about killing them so going back to think about god of war one is there any like memories that come out to you guys about how what was so good about that game <laughs> this is why i wanted jesse here because he he loved that scene, and I he would like repeat it to me where uh, Kratos is about to die, and he goes, "Ares, <laughs> grant me your power." <laughs> <laughs> so every like we'd be playing tennis, and Jesse would just go, "Ares," and then he like smash the ball. It was so great. So the, the first, like just because of that, that scene always sticks out to me, like where he's screaming at the sky, like Ares. <laughs> I just remember, uh, strictly from God of War, you complete this giant temple for Pandora's box. Mm. Then out of freaking nowhere, Ares hurls a giant column at you from like across the world. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the and like best. impales him in this temple from out of nowhere. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Not to mention, like, looking ahead, how many times does Kratos go to hell and come back? <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, when you, when, when you, when you start game, looking yeah. back, it kind of makes it all pointless. Like, ah, oh, he's never going to die, so what's the point of <laughs> right. it? Yeah, I think every game there's a... a segment where you climb up a weird pillar to get out of hell you're like all right yeah. mm-hmm. excuse me right uh jumping to uh god of war 2 you guys remember how that one started off you're actually the god finally yep. yeah like yep. the first one ended with you and Ares, where you're like fucking mega godzilla versus godzilla yeah. mm-hmm. you just grow to like giant size yeah, Which, yeah that's a notable so scene yeah. from and that i jumped, yeah. I jumped over that like that's what, like the uh, internet's number one favorite kill from god of war series is you and paling Mm-hmm. And just yeah. blood squirting everywhere. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And you had to keep Crazy pushing amount. the button. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, ah, uh, so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But God of War 2, you introduce, uh, like, you start off as a god, you mm-hmm. get the Blade of Olympus. Yeah. And that's when you like if we first get to meet like uh, the evil Zeus per se, mm-hmm. and magically mm-hmm. because it's a video game you have to lose all of your power. Yeah, at the oh, very yeah. beginning. So stupid. And guess what? Oh, yeah. you, 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 you go to hell. Yep, yep. sure do. You gotta climb oh, out of hell. Mm-hmm. And then you get introduced to the Titans, and like the whole Greek mythology really kicks in. in two, I, I think like. the second one, yeah, that's where I love that. They really take it off and start bringing in all the gods, and you start seeing all the things you wanted to see about the Greek mythology, you know, right, that you didn't see before. Yeah, yeah. like Kronos, the Titans, you actually get full, fully fleshed out. God, yeah. The Titans were so cool. They're so huge, and you have to like, isn't the, the dungeons mm-hmm. on Kronos' back, right? Yeah, that, and the first one. That's such a good idea. Oh, that was, that was the first one, The yeah. first one, like you call the horn, you see, uh, yeah, what's the other Titan's name? Come across the desert, mm-hmm. and he has Kronos. a yeah, the best. that's one of they, my most favorite things ever. You're climbing on him, and he's just enormous. One, yes. one and two kind of blend together for me. So Same. remind me, uh, does two end with like the cliffhanger where he's yep the literal cliffhanger? That. Yeah, where he's where yeah. like uh, <laughs> Gaia's like climbing up Olympus, and he's on her back like I'm coming, Zeus, yeah. uh, and that just ends. I'm like, oh god. Because two ended with um, him killing Athena, right? On accident, or uh, I think out so. of rage. No, Athena sacrificed herself. Yeah, she sacrificed uh, herself to help him. Yeah, because he was gonna she kill Zeus, and then she gets killed yeah. instead. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I was so pissed at that cliffhanger. That yeah, was because it's was all the Titans one, though, going yeah. to kill Zeus, and then it's fucking done. You have to wait four years for the uh, next game. Yeah. Not as bad as Halo Two. Finish the fight. That was the worst cliffhanger ever. This is close for me. It was. Pre- it was really close. I just remember like playing that, getting to the end, and being like. No, there's yeah. no final boss. You're I was fucking so kidding pissed. me. It's like oh, Harry man. Potter, Deathly Hollows, part one. <laughs> <laughs> just leave you hanging for no reason. Like, oh, that didn't solve anything. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> uh, well, well, but one of the best things about one and two, first of all, being on the PS2, like it put. I feel like it pushed the graphics hardcore. Yeah, two mm-hmm. especially. Like it's crazy that game was out for PS2. It looked like borderline early PS3 graphics. Yeah, it looks PS. It did like yeah. the scope of like moving around these titans and the olympus alone was awesome mm-hmm. the scope that's where it comes in right and that's what god of war was all about is how gigantic everything is versus your size you're so yeah. tiny and that and kratos so like great kratos was uh the most selfish character playing video game oh, history God, he, uh-huh. i and love he, him he, so he, much yeah he, had, he didn't give two shits about yeah. anything like Only he's, revenge he's a he is a bad character but i just love him because he's just he, he doesn't get doesn't give a shit he kills you everybody want that 
Yeah. That's what we want. We want him to be like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. And cut <laughs> head off. I mean, there's a mini game where you just fuck women. Oh, yes, yeah. Like, that's and that's the most notable uh-huh. thing here. That is so amazing. You see I the, you see the vase, like, uh-huh. bouncing. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, good. I'm going to fuck you so hard, I yeah. break shit. <laughs> Hot coffee moments. <laughs> and then you get blood orbs from the mini game. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, that was... And I remember kept, I kept doing that because I thought something else was going to happen. Like, they'd show more of, like, their, you know. <laughs> and it's like, nah, you, you just keep doing the same thing. Yeah. And jumping to finally God of War three on PS three was yes. I think this was, was a launch title for PS three no no it wasn't no. it was a couple years after a launch, launch I think this is what made me so mad about yeah. the PS or the God of War two cliffhanger because mm. the PS three came out in 06. this game came out in twenty ten oh that's right oh, you had to wait yeah. forever for this <sighs> fucking thing so long but thinking about the God of War three intro with Poseidon was it worth the wait yes yes no this. I fucking love this game. This is, this yeah, is God of War my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you watch like highlights far. all this stuff. Honestly, all of it just gets me going. Because then you go, like, you remember what happened. You go, man, that was, like, the greatest moment in video game history. Yeah. All the time. This, in that, this in game that. is so brutal. Like, I think, like, the fir- the second boss you fight, you rip his head off and, like, are carrying his head around to, like, uh, heal yeah. 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 And you just, like, mm-hmm. And you have to, like, do the quick time event to, like, twist his head off. It's and, like, brutal. Twist it back and forth. Yeah. And rip it oh, off. man, it's so good. That happens, like, probably 10 or 12 times in the whole trilogy mm-hmm. yeah where he just keeps ripping heads like icarus and, <laughs> like icarus in ps2 yeah like, war 2 like he's trying to fly to his destination and kratos gets on his back and like, tears rips his, his wings, wings off oh, that's so flying. Oh, like, I love give it. Me those. that's what i'm waiting for for the new game i can't wait to see what oh, weird shit they come up with do. how do you it's so satisfying the the final fight when you kill zeus and you shove your thumbs into his yeah, eye sockets yeah. and it goes to Zeus's POV. Uh-huh. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Isn't this the game ending. to where like you can keep on pressing buttons to punch him and punch oh, him yeah. like, and, like constantly punch him and you can stop whenever? Yep, from from POV you see Kratos yeah. punching you in the face. I did, goes, I did that for like 90 seconds. I'm like, yeah. I don't even care. I don't know when I'm supposed to stop. <laughs> I just kept on fucking doing it. And that's like, I think it was like uh, Corey Borlaug, the creator of God, or God of War, the mm. creative director. Like, they put that in there to see what gamers would do for how long they want to kill <laughs> sure. Zeus. Because oh, yeah. you're pissed at, you're with Kratos, you're pissed at Zeus at this point. I think oh, yeah. I was mad right from the beginning when he, like, you, you're going to him on the cliffhanger, and then he, like, what's he do? He, like, makes you a deal or something, but then he, like, backstabs you and sends you off, so you can't Well, then he thinks, like, him. he thinks you're nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The entire trilogy. Yeah, yeah, he tells him at, the, at that, I think when he's on Olympus, he's, like, just basically tells him, like, you're nothing, I'm not worried about you. Get right. Here. Yeah. Like the intro is like one of the best intros I've ever played in any Him game. Period. Fighting Poseidon, where, where he's yeah. like, yeah, literally like mm. climbing up on oh, the Titans so while they're climbing. So they're moving and shit's coming at you, and you go from like Titan to Titan. Like there's a rock one and a tree yeah. one and yeah. shit. Yeah, so it's amazing. We'll cool. talk about scope. That yeah. first fight. Nah, yeah. How this... do you even start a game? Like, they left it at the perfect point because yeah. that beginning is so huge. Mm-hmm. It's just as big as it ever gets. Yeah. I mean, wonder... Shadow of the Colossus is like the only thing you can compare anything in my world as mm-hmm. far as like scale. And I think, yeah. Yeah. I think honestly, God of War is better. That fight just blew my mind with how like big of scope it had. It's, it's crazy, enormous. Mm-hmm. It sets the bar. Because you, you see know. Titans uh, climbing the background, you see Poseidon wait like fighting somebody else in the background. Yeah, and you're climbing up Gaia as like a level <laughs> mm-hmm. in the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, so, so good. good. It's the best. One of the favorite scenes from the God of War three. I'm not sure which one it was, but there's a guy who's tied to a rock. And he has some kind of secret. Oh, yeah. And Kratos is like, free me, I'll give you the secret. Isn't that Prometheus? Is it yeah, Prometheus? Prometheus so. yeah. And then like, yeah. you get the secret from him, but then you put him back on the rock? Or leave, <laughs> yeah. him, or leave him on the rock? <laughs> yeah, it's such a dick. And the bird's like picking at him for, for eternity. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, Prometheus. He got he was punished for bringing fire to the humans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he just gets punished. And then Kratos is like, thanks. And then like leaves me. He's like, wait, aren't you going to release me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take oh, your punishment. He puts like a fire underneath him, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, bring yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, he is knows that he rip, can't die. Is that Rip Torn? Is that, who that, who's Rip Torn? You know the guy? I know who voice? he is. He's no, in he's, God of War? Yeah, he's the voice of... Uh, oh. Um, no, no, Something like that. Fuck, I don't remember. No, he's one of the main characters. Yeah. And it's a weird thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's so many scenes like that in God of War 3. There's like the... Her, one of the gods that's helping you craft items. Mm. At the very end, you impale his head. It's Pandora's oh. father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The guy you're helping. Festus, I he's think, a, yeah, he's yeah. a Festus. Yeah, yeah. And you just gotcha. impale him with his own thing at the end of the game. He's like, hey, he's got to kill everybody. He's on a mission, and mm-hmm. you, who's gonna stop him? His ally? I, don't think I think so. that was a Festus you were talking about. That might have been. Who was ripped torn? Yeah, gotcha. Mm. That he might have been. War three. He's like tormented mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, what um, in this one? He also goes down to hell. But this time he actually, he, he actually he actually kills Hades. Hades. Yeah. 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 Oh Thank my God. God! Yes, and mm-hmm. Hades was so cool looking, like yeah. evil as hell, all spiky, mm-hmm. crazy. It's just and that so... you, you get his blades. Yeah, you get, yeah. 
which were awesome because some of the best things about God of War was the gameplay. Mm -hmm. The weapon switching in those games was great because every weapon had such a unique feel to it. Yeah, it did. If if you were sick of the Blades of Olympus, you're like, hey, I'm just going to use these like lion fist gauntlets and just be fantastic. It was so fun. I liked it that uh, God of War 1 was you helping the gods and like each guy had like a little area for you and Mm -hmm. they're telling you what to do. By the end of 3, you're killing all of them. Yeah. Which is fantastic. They they fucked him over because they're like, hey, we'll help you to defeat Ares mm-hmm. if you do these things for us. And then at the end, he's like, you're the god of war, but uh, you know we don't like you that much, so we're going to oust you. And he's going to go kill them all. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, one had a really cool story. Like, Kratos was about to die, and uh, he calls the Ares, like, you can have my soul and shit. <laughs> and then uh, he's fighting for Ares. Yeah, and, and that's when he gets the chains wrapped around his wrist, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. like, in, like, blind rage, not knowing what he's doing, he killed his wife and daughter. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's just fucking crazy. And then, and then that's then how th- he gets his skin. Yeah, throughout mm, the yeah. entire game, hit their ash is on his body. Yeah. yeah. So fucking gross. And the red scar, his brother had a, had the red scar, or it was, like, a tattoo, yeah. and he gets killed, and so he puts that on himself oh. to represent his brother. That mm-hmm. was a, a Vita game, wasn't it? Or was it a PSP game? Oh, yeah, that it was a PSP yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Chains of Olympus. I just saw people talking about it. Yeah, I remember that one. I actually like it. Some of those mm-hmm. spinoff games weren't that bad. Mm. I they never were, played any of them. Yeah. Me neither. See, I played both of them, and I remember the first one being okay, so I didn't play the second one until the collection came out for PS3. Me too. And Ghost of Sparta is awesome. It's mm. really good. It's super solid. You could tell the advancements from the Chain of Olympus, what, original PSP? Yeah. Then an advancement mm-hmm. to Ghost of Sparta, whether it was on the late PSP or Vita. It was, PSP. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really good. That's cool. I might mm-hmm. check that out. For me, one of the greatest things about God of War series is like maybe they're 10 to 15 hour games tops, yeah. but every hour of that game is just flat out brawl, action, blood, and story. Yeah, you puzzle. Don't want, no yeah. slowing down. Don't forget don't want puzzle. That. Puzzle slows you down. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, don't even talk about that. Some <laughs> of that stuff made me pretty mad. The, the puzzles in those games are not bad, though. They're like they're like Zelda level quality, maybe a step down, but they're, they're still kind of annoying. Good. They're there yeah. for pacing, if anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, Every be, game's got to have a reason. a five-hour game without puzzles and mm-hmm. dungeons. Yeah. yeah, you always got to go find something. <laughs> you know, just go yeah. look for an item. That's all most games. That's you, all video Otherwise, games. you're not doing anything. Yep. Yeah. We skipped a game. Which one we play? What's God of War Ascension. Yeah, that barely counts. I played... Huh? <laughs> it's a barely. prequel game that came out for PS3. It takes place like right after he gets his chains. Yeah. What? I, I played half of that game, and I didn't like the way it was controlling. Oh. I just was bored from it, and I stopped. I yeah, like, it's kind of like shitting all over good. the franchise sometimes. It was yeah. it was you know. not fun. The story was garbage. I'm just like, I'm going to stop this. Like Let's I've never stopped any God of War game, but I did that one. It hmm. felt like a money plug just to get more out of Kratos. <laughs> yeah. Probably, yeah. And it was the wrong direction, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. very much so. No, that's all it was, yeah. That's well, I hope they're going in the right direction with the next game. I hope mm-hmm. so. Segway, God of Zero. War. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Just God of War. I was going to say God of War 4, but it's not. It's just God of War. Before, real quick, I think we already listed, but favorite one? Was it all God of War 3 for all of us? Yeah, oh, definitely. Three. Yeah. One is close, but I yeah. loved every minute of 3. Three just I, I think so one good. Of, there's not one bad minute in three. Three yeah. is just killing all. It's just like destroying everything they built. Yeah, three, I mean, I love three was that. like three mm-hmm. was like a chain of murders that just yeah. happened over they and over. They just were like, yeah, They're here's everything good. that's there. We're gonna kill it all. Yeah, like everything we've talked about, and that's how you end everything. That's the most satisfying. Like what else? How God, it bru- is a what's really mo- satisfying ending. What's yeah. more brutal than that? He killed everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, then, like, yeah, like the world's gone to hell, and he's just like, well, too bad, humanity. Like, yeah, he he's, <laughs> he basically screwed everything up by killing the gods, and he's like, I'm gonna go into a cabin, <laughs> ignore it. Uh-huh. Well, with that, with that, let's just go ahead and jump into the new God of War that comes out in a week. Oh yeah, uh, this one has been hyped for a long time. And this was revealed like E3 2016, I believe. Something like that. Yeah. I want to I wanna remind everybody at the table, Seth, you weren't here for this, but uh, mm-hmm. I made a prediction on the predictions episode that God of War was going to be like the next Last of Us level, mm-hmm. like dad, kid, freaking yeah. like masterpiece. And seeing some of the early reviews, I think I was fucking right. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be right, it's dude. Great. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. It looks it looks crazy. What's the the metacritics like 95 right now? It's insane. It's way people up are there. loving yeah. it across the board. Mhm. And let's talk about what we know about this game. So far people are loving it. Um it appears to be they're, they're claiming it's a single shot game. So the, mm-hmm. you stay on Kratos and his son the entire game. There's no cutscenes. Yeah, no loading, no anything. Yep. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Which sounds awesome. And it, it takes, takes up all the space on your PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pre- preloading a lot so of So how do you guys uh-huh. feel about the Norse mythology this time compared to like the Greek mythology? I feel like they've done everything with Greek mythology, so they had to do yeah. something different. I got, but I'm getting like Skyrim deja vu. 
uh, with yeah, the North, with Norse uh, mythology. I think it looks. I think it's it looks way better than Skyrim. Oh, like, for yeah, sure. Like from a you know graphics whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that Kratos as kills as, Skyrim. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm thinking as long as Kratos is like, I need to kill some more gods. We're gonna get a crazy game. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you he's just got to kill ever. He's got to be angry, right? It's got to be some, it will yeah. be, it'll be vengeful and awesome. Yeah. I'll like steal his son and he'll go get it. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Make well, they're claiming like he's supposed to be more mature in this game, which yeah. honestly, he he's, looks he's, older. He's older for sure. Mm-hmm. But part of me still wants like that badass rage original, monster. Yeah. Great yeah. monster yeah, no, from the original yeah. trilogy. No thinking, just killing. Yeah. Sometimes be like, yeah, whatever, bitch. I kill everything. I feel like he's going to be super hard on his son. Like try to teach him everything he knows, but he might not want that. I feel like that's going to be a lot of this game. Yeah, so it's like, will be rebellious. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the the preview that I was kind of watching and listening to, uh, it, it is kind of like that where Kratos yeah. he doesn't really want to be a father, but he's and he's trying to pass on these lessons, and the kid's more of like a scholar, like kind of a quote unquote wimpy kid or whatever. Okay. But the game focuses on Kratos and his son. That's like th- their relationship growing or building or whatever. Mm-hmm. I imagine they're going to kill some fucking gods. Mm. Like so Norse I gods? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. See, I, I don't know Norse, I think Norse they have gods. To. I don't either. Thor, Odin. I mean, oh. the Marvel ones. Oh we my all god! Know. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Thor. That's, that, we all know the Marvel gods. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be, yeah. look like Marvel. It's uh-huh. gonna start becoming really cheesy. There, there are, there are, <laughs> there's a, there's honestly, what, like with Roman, Greek, and Norse mythology, there's a lot of crossover. Like Thor is basically Hercules. Mm-hmm. Uh, Odin's basically Zeus. You know, there's yeah. a lot of crossover, so you'll see yeah. a lot of sure. Your face and that's all you, you kind of want that same stuff. I mean, the art styles are going to be definitely different. That's a big thing. Like the pillars and some of that, that stuff is what I'm mm-hmm. interested in seeing what they do, you know, because yeah. just the look of God of War, you're always kind of, I don't know, why do I think of this? It's you're very, always surrounded by pillars, It's right? very yeah. Greek. Yeah. And, and the, yeah. f- from what I've seen, the this one is very Norse. Like yeah. they, like, they took surrounded a lot by of, trees all yeah, the time. Like yeah. They took a lot of care to make sure everything looks how it should. And, mm-hmm. looks and right. that's way different. I mean, the mm-hmm. feeling of just looking at it because, you know, that's is not gonna yeah. Look the same. Not having played the game yet, like I love Greek mythology, mm-hmm. yeah. and that God of War th- one through three played upon that heavily. Which why the reason I love those games. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering how much we don't know about Norse mythology, how well we still appreciate the atmosphere of this game. So they there there is another thing in the game where it's like there's uh, runes kind of scattered about, and Kratos can't read them. Neither can you, the player, but he can he can command his son to like uh, translate the runes for him. Okay. So uh, I guess that's how you get your lore. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Hmm. It's like it's like he'll s- transcribe the stuff, and then you can access oh. his journal. And uh, apparently, the so, kid also like sketches enemies and like like writes about how they're vulnerable or what they do. So is it like finding like uh, audio files in Bioshock or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, it, okay. it reminds me of that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, going look out, looking off trailers and some of the reviews that are coming out, like sounds like the gameplay is not what it used to be. But the elements of what made God of War great are still there, which is good. Yeah, what, like what, combat, combat, and like the the what do we call it? The bloodiness of it all. He's got he's got an axe he throws, and then you press triangle to bring it back to him, like Thor's hammer. Oh, uh, that is the best. I, <laughs> they, so cool. I saw so a, cool. a screenshot, a couple screenshots actually, that. where he yeah, his bandage is where his chains used to be. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely the same Kratos for sure. And then yeah, when you to be that when way. you throw the axe and you don't have it, you just beat shit up with your fists like he's just like he's yeah. still a strong like god powered crazy it's man weird. See, yeah. it, it's weird because i've heard you don't need to play any other god of war game to like play this one so i don't know like how hard they're gonna like uh, delve into the backstory mm-hmm. of all the greek stuff that's happening. well how are they gonna transition like because it's all that's the only thing i kind of yeah. wonder it's like i'll oh, just forget all that other stuff well, in the third one <laughs> yeah. didn't he die well, he, well, and then he, there's like a cutscene at the end where it shows like blood Driplets like yeah. going off the cliff, right? Yeah, and like so in the, 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 the early previews of this game, still say that he's a he still has the powers of a demigod. Mm-hmm. He should, yeah, a demigod. So uh, I, I don't know how well that translates to a, a narrative because this feels like a narrative game now. Yeah, that's what makes so, me so excited. Yeah, so about so the it. the other thing about it is that so in the first three games you'd be like, here's Kratos, and then cutscene, what's happening on Olympus? Like Zeus is like, kill that motherfucker, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever. This game is not going to have anything like that. So if if like Thor's off doing something, you like it's separate from you, you have no idea what he's doing. He might be I I don't know, maybe Thor comes after you at some point, who knows, but you're never going to see exposition. It's all from the point of view of Kratos cuz there's no cuts. You know, you know how they're going to transition? He, they just change religions. They're like, "Oh, gods are different." <laughs> <laughs> what god do yeah, you believe I in mean, now? Oh no, it's not like that. No, we don't believe in uh, Zeus or any of that stuff. Yeah, I'm what? not sure how the lore no works idea. exactly, but because I mean, that's not going to make any sense, no matter what you say. Like, well, I right. killed all those, so new gods happen. Mm-hmm. Is that? I mean, maybe that works. 
No well, that idea. and it's like how much like I know they were, they already used the term like Draugr, which is literally from Skyrim yeah. in Norse mythology. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. So and they had like you guys remember from the trailers they had like a big snake thing that yeah. talks, yeah. Mm-hmm. and there was horned beasts that look like I think there's gonna be good variety here. Oh yeah. But and they're claiming to be like a twenty to twenty five hour game, which I was actually yeah. surprised. It's, it's it's long, and if you do everything, it's supposed to be about maybe thirty five. That's crazy. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's gameplay. The longest God of War there's probably ever been. Mm-hmm. And and you know some of that. I mean, at least it's getting good reviews. But man, you know, I don't know if you want it longer necessarily because I, that doesn't mean better. All I've the time. heard this yeah. game minimum is like twenty five thirty hours. But, but see, it, God of War is not like that to me, so that's yeah, what kind of worries me a little no. bit. Because I don't want to. If you drag out certain parts, that fast pace is what makes and this crap so good. It's not open world, but it's a big world. Yeah, that you yeah. can. From what I've heard, it's kind of like those Uncharted Four worlds. Yeah, where like it's not super open world, but like little chunks kind of are. Yeah, which yeah. which I, I gotta play to get a good feel for it. Yeah, but going back to what you said, Seth, like I'm kind of worried that classic god of war feeling is not going to be here which that may be a bad thing but i really like that classic feeling the, the, right. you're not, you, you can't ever really get that because the look right the pillars yeah. and all this here's the thing like you said the skyrim that was a good point like when I, the stuff i've seen it's pine trees the pine trees right that yeah. to me is so weird to mm-hmm. see next to kratos <laughs> and it's very pine trees and like gray rocks because mm-hmm. he's always like in the desert or whatever like yeah. with pillars that's too weird it yeah. looks like skyrim and, like is rainy and like that, you know that's yeah. the thing like we're gonna have like all of the brutal combat but i'm guessing that might be a little more than half a lot of this is going to be like father and son time just like joel and ellie and yeah. last of us that, like it's gonna so, be more emotional than any other guy feels of War like game. playstation 4 m- game yeah. yeah, and, and yeah, what I game so yeah. like yeah. building off of that, what I would be worried about is that they they've already set that the tone of the game is more slow and plodding and grounded. kind of yeah, kind of grounded and kind of more of a maybe emotional story maybe. So uh, maybe that does slow down the combat a little bit, and that would kind of suck. But it just, yeah. I haven't played it yet. It's you have to play it to really know. Uh, yeah. You know what make it better is if he's just way abusive to his son. <laughs> 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 like, like shut the fuck up you know, smacks him yeah no no that's not what you do he's actually like, the, you know. the twist is that he kills him at the fifth hour and then you're oh. a solo dude if his son killed him like in out of rage oh, towards shit. him it'd be like a Metal Gear solid two Ooh. you play as atreus the whole game not kratos that would be so awesome though like honestly if he his son got mad and killed his dad mm-hmm. would make, i would freak out actually what if, what if that was the twist because kratos has like a whole thing about killing his family mm-hmm. yeah no that's perfect what the perfect fuck is? and that is That'd like greek weird. mythology to yeah. a core oh yeah like, yeah killing, killing your, your own fam- kids yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kill my family hey me too buddy <laughs> what about that story plot does that even come up that he killed his uh i, I original bet, wife I bet and that, kid? Com- that has to come up i would some think point. so too yeah that and then to it gets up. awkward because they're like well that was another religion <laughs> yeah like <laughs> that was my other kid like we don't talk about her or the uh, other I, wife i see my skin every day and i have to deal with that yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So. they're on me like you ever wonder why i'm white <laughs> whose son is it children. did they say is, it, is that an unknown is it Athena? I, there's a wife in this game, but I don't know who yeah. it is. Yeah, I'm assuming it's his kid, but we don't I, know yet. I, yeah, the, but, the oh, game, we don't even know if it's his kid. Mm-hmm. The uh, game, they, the they, game designer well, or the the head of the game, whatever, came out and said it is his son. Okay, no, whether right. that's a misdirect or not, I have no idea. But that's what the game director has said. And people have talked about the after reviewing the early reviews and people who have played the game already, they're talking about the future God of War. So something mm-hmm. happens at the end of this game where that dictates what they where they go next mm-hmm. right. into the future. Do you guys want like another old man Kratos trilogy? Well, not another, but a new one. Yes. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. If if they if they make the leap with his character that I think they're going to make in this game, where you're actually invested in him and interested in him, mm-hmm. I would be down to play two more games after this one. I feel like the logic they're taking mm-hmm. is like the original God of War fans have grown up, so now the game's going to grow up. Yeah, and that makes you, sense. And too. if you want to go back and play that old school hack and slash feel from the original God of War, mm-hmm. just go play it. Yeah, it's still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I, I I appreciate that approach, but I wonder how many people are going to have any backlash if at all to the non god of war formula i mean with all the reviews yeah. right now 95 on metacritic i don't think there's gonna be a lot of backlash like if it's an excellent game if it's a masterpiece yeah. nobody's gonna really care last yeah. jedi got great reviews <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> ouch <laughs> it's too soon man too i know soon. i'm so i'm so sorry <laughs> it's on dvd it's it's past time <laughs> you... lucas arts <laughs> uh so just uh kind of wind down here going through each of us what does a god of war the new game need to do for you personally i feel like this needs to be on par with the last of us because i'm getting so many vibes of that the Mm. story has to be like on par with that which is going to be really hard to do but the reviews have said that it's been like that so i'm excited to play it's a zombie game now it's horrible (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah, I, I think yeah. as long as as long as that combat is still there and the pacing is good, I I will definitely enjoy it. Yeah, really, really like this. Mm-hmm. One. This is the mo- game I was looking forward to the most this year. And you know, to me, it's all about you know the control scheme has to be the same and the deaths just got to be brutal. Honestly, just start out the game with a bang. They seem to do that pretty yeah. well, right? Yeah. Make sure. I don't know how you transition that story. That's gonna <laughs> so key to me because you can't just have this disconnect from the old story into this, and we all forget that he used to have a different religion and did all this other things with other people. I don't know how they'll do that. But other than that, you know, if he just starts out like. Starts fighting with Thor or whatever. Like, all right, you know, yeah. I could dive on board. All he's got to do is kill some giant thing at the beginning. I'm pretty much gonna be excited. <laughs> yeah, I got. I'm on the board with Seth. I kind of want some WTF moments. Like that just happened. Or oh yeah. I want some big, epic boss fight that sets the tone for this whole game, and it happens six or seven times throughout the whole game. Mm-hmm. Just uh, the, straight nonsense. The emotional stuff, I think, will. It's definitely going to be there this time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope it's good. I hope it's not like cookie cutter. Hopefully, give us a week or probably two weeks to get through a little bit of God of War and see where our impressions are there. We'll probably flip with you guys, and that'll probably be an intro to one of these days, like how, mm-hmm. how are we guys going to God of War? Oh, yeah. So I think most of us are going to play here and pile, pile drive through it. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping mm-hmm. to do a spoiler cast on that sometime. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. That'd, that'd be fun. Yeah. No doubt. Speaking of God of War, that kind of falls into our next section of the show, and that is going to be, I mean, we kind of, we're going to have a little discussion here, is God of War, it's pretty much considered a hack and slash, would you guys call it right? I don't know what else you would call it, like, yeah. action adventure, but yeah, yeah. It, it, you're just like beating a whole bunch of groups of people over and over again. I'd yeah. say if there was a definition of that, it's God of War. Yeah, yeah right. for sure. This next section, we're going to talk about our favorite beat em ups slash hack and slash, but we need to have a discussion first, that in your personal opinion... Do you guys consider beat em ups and hack and slashes different, or are they all within the same frame of a video game style? So, for the purposes of this list, when I was looking up hack and slash games, not a whole lot. Yeah. Like in the grand scope of things. So, if you mm-hmm. put beat em ups in there, great. And they play like kind of similarly where you're constantly just tapping an attack button to kill stuff and moving around using combos, special yeah. moves, stuff like that. See, John and I were talking about this a little bit before we recorded, and. Beat em ups are like 16 bit. Like yeah. when I think of beat em ups, I think of like Turtles in Time or The Simpsons or the shit like that. The name just sounds 80s, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really does. And then once like games turned into 3D, then you got some hack and slash stuff and you're like, yeah. oh, okay, this is a 2D beat em up except it's 360 now. <laughs> beat em up sounds like some 1920s. I put up your <laughs> yeah. dicks. <laughs> Fist of cuff. I, I, was, I, I agree with that. I think they're yeah. that, yeah, hack and mm-hmm. slash is the 3D version of a beat em up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You so, got the 360 where you got to point in all directions oh, instead yeah. of right in front of you or behind you. So with that yeah. being established, I asked these guys to come up with their favorite hack and slash slash beat em up games so there's gonna be some uh discussion here why you, why it's your favorite and why it fits on this list at least we're all in agreement that it's hack and slash is kind of the evolution of beat em ups yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah. it's it's kind of a vague term you know they kind of like blend i don't think there's an exact definition because some of these i mean some of them do but then there's others that we've talked about that kind of seem like they could fit in a few categories you know mm-hmm. yeah for sure and they could dive into other categories too within game style but they contain these elements and i think that's gonna mm-hmm. be fair for our discussion button smashing kind of thing yeah sure. well we created our top three i asked these guys to come up with the alternates because i think there's gonna be some overlap here because there mm-hmm. are some definitely some standout titles within this category um that being said i'll go ahead and kick it off with my uh, one of my favorite games on beat 'em ups Are we starting with number three or number one? I'm starting with my number three. Okay. And All obviously, right. just because we talked about it, I'm just going ahead and go throw God of War 3 out there. One of my favorite hack and slash games. Yeah. If yeah. not, my favorite. It's like the it's like the best that the genre can do. I, In the I 3D think. space. Yeah, it's it's mm-hmm. it's so good. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I tried to keep all the God of War games off this and just do like everything else. Sure, I kind of did yeah, that too. Kind of yeah. make it diverse because yeah. you know, that seems like the yeah mm-hmm. yeah we John. <laughs> uh, that's why that's why I went first. I'm okay. just getting it out of the way. Uh, that's good. <laughs> my my number three is very underrated. Like I don't think a lot of people played this game, but those who did fucking loved it. It might be one of the best like licensed superhero games ever. It's uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, it's what? So, have you have any of you played it here? I didn't even know they made a fucking Wolverine game. No, like PS3. I think what? Oh, PS3 yeah, 360. Yeah. yeah, it's so fucking amazing, and it's gory as shit. Yeah, I remember yeah. this game. It, I, it's brutal. It like when you play, when you think of Wolverine, you just think of him as like ruthless and going, but you don't see a lot of that like in the movies ever. Yeah, this game is like full blown R rated Wolverine. It's uh, so Logan. Fun. 
yeah. Logan like crazy. Yeah, it's vi- huh. it, it kind of plays like Lo- Logan, except he's That's not an old all man. I want, a yeah. game. I want a new one of those. Mm-hmm. You spin around like God of War. Yeah, so right? in PS3 oh. game was it a side scroller or three D space? No, it, it's like God of War where you go from like point A to point B. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That type gotcha. of thing. Clearly, if nobody heard of it, it was a big deal. I know, but <laughs> it's it's weird that I haven't heard of it. I know, I want it. Yeah. I love that stuff. I, imagine, so, you I know. can imagine the cover. It's like actually Hugh Jackman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and he's, oh, wow. with, he's bo- like, with both. Yeah, and he's like, with oh. both fists in the air and his uh, claws around. And he's a tank I'm, top. That's such a bummer. And I feel like white tee, right? Yeah, never. Yeah, been, yeah. Huh. and it the how movie. How did that go? How did that just go under because the radar? Because the movie was hot garbage. Oh, X Men Origins movie so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this game pulls like some of the points from that movie but it also goes uh, off yeah, in a side direction no it pulls the best parts of that movie oh, like, like deadpool it, n- no deadpools in this <laughs> game no not at all but it does a lot of like the um weapon x stuff where like okay. you go out of the facility and everything yeah. uh so uh for my number three i'll pick a uh eh, maybe it's obvious bloodborne 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 is a is definitely a hack and slash game okay yeah i can when, see that when uh so it, it, it's like because it's like uh you know dark souls whatever where it's kind of, it's kind of a plotting game, but they sped it up. So mm-hmm. if you're not doing, if you're not playing it hack and slash, you're not gonna win, because it has the mechanic where you get your health back the more you hit things. Sure. So you ba- it basically forces you to play it like a hack and slash game, with the awareness that you need to have to play a Dark Souls game. Sure. It's a good blend. Seth, you have a, one of your favorites. Um, you see, I didn't have as much time to prepare as you guys, so I don't have three. <laughs> but I will say, um, like, I mean, this is another one of those in the debatable categories of what we're talking about. Um, but I'd say Gauntlet. You know, I put that up there, and I wouldn't say it's the third best, but you know, I'd put it up like, there in that are list. Are you talking like NES Gauntlet or like arcade, arcade Gauntlet, like, like, like Gauntlet Legends? Yeah, mm, for yeah. me, I, that's what I think of when I think of that. We did have a whole discussion about like this, and I enough. agree with you. It is a hack and slash game. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. definitely. Yeah, you keep pushing buttons. You know, <laughs> constant, <laughs> constantly attacking. It, the only difference is that instead of having a free camera, you're on like a grid, basically. Yeah, yep. like I, so I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my next one was uh, Ninja Gaiden Black on the Xbox. It's oh, so yeah. solid. I forgot yeah. about that yeah. game. That game is tough as hell, but it is repetitive action, and it is like over the top, pretty much Ninja Studios doing their thing. Mm-hmm. And I loved that game back in the day. But I'm dying to play, play that game when I think of Hack and Slash, Ninja Gaiden is like my go-to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would have said the same thing. Let's see here. My number two. Uh, this was number. This was really close to my number three, but... Um, Number two for me is No More Heroes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's very mm, hack that's and slashy, but it's got my humor. It's just like dumb fun, yep. and it's long and it's just long enough to not get repetitive. Great art and style. All the bosses are super like original. Yeah. Uh huh. Just yeah, super fun. I don't have a lot to say about it, but yeah, it's fun. And oh yeah, when it's a hack and slash for the Wii that uses the Wiimote correctly. Oh like, yeah, that, that, that's that super was hard the big to do. Thing about it, the motion control worked really well. Yeah, when you save, you just go on the shitter and. No, no, it's yeah. fun. Just yeah, the humor in this game is fucking fun. Yeah, Andy. Well, uh, nobody's mentioned a beat 'em up yet, so I'm gonna go with my favorite beat 'em up, River City Ransom on the NES. Yeah, which is like, it holds kind of a special place in my heart mm-hmm. because uh, it was the it was one of the first NES games I had. My uh, my grandma just gave me this NES one time because uh, Nintendo 64 was out and I wanted that, but she didn't know. So mm-hmm. she gave me an NES, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, this is cool too." <laughs> uh, so I played a lot of River City Ransom. It's a lot of. Uh, are you guys familiar with it at all? It's, yeah, yeah, like oh yeah, two D side scrolling, eight bit. I never beat it, but I loved going into like the shops and just like eating ramen noodles and shit. Yeah, it was, it was just fun. Did you ever play Scott Pilgrim versus the World? Uh, that's one of my alternates actually is on it? my list because that's pretty much River City Ransom. Yeah, except they, they like twenty ten. They, they lifted a lot of stuff from River City Ransom to make that game, yeah. and I mean, arguably did it better. Uh, I mean, it's a newer game, so it's obviously gonna have some better mm-hmm. parts to it. But River City Ransom's like the the bones of like pretty much all beat 'em ups that and like Double Dragon. Yeah. Seth, even next another favorite. Devil May Cry is a good one. That, mm-hmm. Yeah, I that's... can't say I've really played it. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> but I know of it. I've seen many seen many reviews. It's good. Go check it out. You know. <laughs> to that point, that, a lot of people consider that at a least great I'm hack- honest. Hey, whatever. Yeah, it's true, and it yeah. technically is supposed to be a great hack and slash game. So. Yeah. No, I mean that's definitely one of the ones people reference all the time. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, before we do number ones. I would, since I don't, I don't think we're gonna have any overlap like I thought we did. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna make our uh, alternatives our uh, honorable mentions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that. So uh, my uh, honorable mentions I want to throw out there mm-hmm, were mm-hmm. 
Dante's Inferno. That yep. was one of mine too. Was it? Yeah. I didn't think anybody else here played it. That game was so Dante's dark. Dante's Inferno. And... That's the game I was talking to you about early. Like I was trying to think of the game that yeah. was sort of like. Yeah. Where man. you just go into like the 13 stages of hell. Yeah. yeah. I wish you yeah, would have brought that. That's, that's, that's the really game I played one. recently that I was like, this is ripping off everything, yeah. man. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's the a... guy's literally named Dante. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. arguably, Devil May Cry ripped that from the original novel. Right. Yeah. But still. Mm -hmm. But that game was pretty messed up. It has some weird, super weird humor. fucking dark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you kill like dead children. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. really weird. Because you know, there's is... there's actually a novelization of that video game. Oh Jesus! Which is a video game adaptation oh, of the Divine Comedy. Yeah, they made an, funny. they made an anime about it too. <laughs> they did. I, I watched it and it's fucked up. And I wow. think if I remember correctly, I read this a few years ago that that game was supposed to become a movie. Yeah. And it got cut. Mm. I, I heard got, that too. Yeah. Do you think they filmed anything? I doubt it. Well, no. that'd be weird. There's some like archive of like five minutes yeah. of footage of weirdness. I mean, if, if you mm -hmm. followed it naturally, next he would go to like the seven layers of heaven or yeah. whatever. So. And he kills everybody in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, my last uh, alternate was uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Okay. I was thinking about that one too. I played yeah. a little bit. It's I like that was, a, that was a Star Wars hack and slash to yeah. me, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. I'll do two that were on PS2. Hmm. One of them, The Warriors, if anybody's played that. It was made by Rockstar. Mm -hmm. But it's based oh, off the 70s movie. Yeah. PS2, right? Yeah. 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 Super fun. It's just fucking beating a whole bunch of fucking people up. That's what you want from one of these games. <laughs> beating them up? Uh-huh. And then, I don't know if this really counts or not, but uh, Spider-Man 2. It, yeah, like, this we were is debating that. Yeah, this is super open world. It's but open I mean, world, man. You go to like fucking groups of people and beat yeah. them up once you it's once you grab a hold of yeah. them with your spider web it's like god of war yeah. and there's a combo you basically system have, yeah it's a combo system you get stuff back for getting consecutive hits or like yeah. a higher score I, yeah uh yeah I, yeah I agree with it hey yeah a little bit i, I definitely like that game mm -hmm. there's yeah. no doubt it has a beat em up element for yeah. sure it's stretching that's why i didn't put it on the list <laughs> yeah it's once you grab <laughs> right. them with that you know it reminds me so much of god of war once you grab them with the web you know yeah and you're just throwing them around i guess my, i already mentioned scott pilgrim one of my honorable mentions the other one would be uh Diablo 3 because it I, I felt like it's not a traditional hack exactly, and slash yeah. like kind of like Gauntlet but that's why mm -hmm. I agree with Gauntlet because yeah. Diablo 3 is definitely a hack and slash yeah because it's a debatable yeah. you know I was gonna um, put Boulder's Gate on mine too but that's yeah, like that Diablo so. Yep. so I think we're gonna say Bayonetta we didn't say that no we're not tour number ones yet <laughs> oh uh, uh, damn uh -oh. So, jump in the middle just ruin everything you guys say your number ones here before we dive into what they are, is this going to be the <laughs> definitive ideas of when you think of this category? We'll cross that bridge. Like I said, this it might be controversial, my number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and kick it off. And that is going to be uh, X-Men Arcade. <gasps> okay. That's, yeah. like, that's like, yeah. yeah. That's a beat-em-up for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a beat-em-up, and I love the X-Men. Pretty much anything X-Men I love. Yeah. yeah. And playing that with four-player arcade, to me, is That like, was like six-player arcade, wasn't was it? it? That was, that was a yeah, giant... Yeah, you got a six-player arcade. You, it's hard yeah. to play... it. With six people around it, but yeah. it, it definitely is six mm -hmm. player. Yeah, whoever yeah. gets stuck with Dazzler's fucked. <laughs> yeah, Dazzler's, Dazzler's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for me, that's like that's classic beat em up, and I, 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 I associate fun with everything about that game. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of the classic like great arcade games. Yep. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. one of a few great licensed games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay, so for my number one, um, I don't know, I don't even know if you guys are gonna count this or not, but because it has it has a lot of genres, and hack and slash might not be the first one you think of. But I was gonna do Batman Arkham City. I knew you were going there because <laughs> yeah. of the Spider Man pick. Yeah. Because when you said Spider Man two, I was thinking that's very much like the the combat in Arkham City. Uh huh. I and for the same reason I said all the stuff about yeah. Spider Man two. I yeah, agree with exactly. You. Yeah, I, like I agree. It. Yeah. yeah. You got to might... push buttons so much, mm -hmm. you know, in all directions. Yeah. And people coming around you. But it's like I was gonna pick Arkham Asylum, but that's more of like a Metroidvania game. You yeah, know, it, City is actually like. It's more open world and whatnot, and you can do more things than just, like, beat people up. But, like, the main thing in that game is, like, beating people up mm. and beating bosses, and that's how you go through the story. But so. if you're looking at, like, the combat, they're basically all the same. I, I think mean, so, too. A lot of chain, yeah. chain combos and mm -hmm. the free-flow combat system that was really great. As yeah. gamers, do you classify open world as a genre? Uh, not anymore. No, I don't That's think so. That's just kind of a description of how it yeah, works. I, I yeah, think, I, think, yeah. I think we used to, like, used to say, like, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, that Grand Theft Auto, when that happened, you can do anything. Yeah. But now, like, every game has yeah, an open world at some point, mm -hmm. it seems like. So, like, yeah, yeah, why? It, if yeah, I, yeah, why? If yeah. I had to pick, like, a classic beat em up to be my number one, it would be uh, Turtles in Time. Yeah, I, I, I actually expected that on your list. Andy? Well, okay. My number one, which, if. So, we talked about God of War 3 being the epitome of hack and slash. I think this game is the quintessential hack and slash. Okay. And Seth, you mentioned it. Yeah. Kind of. Devil May Cry 3. 
Yeah. 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 Three. Because, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Devil God. May Cry Three yeah. is an amazing game. It's the God of War Three of Devil May Cry. Uh, I. <laughs> so my justification is that when I think of like a just a hack and slash crazy you know beat 'em up style game, you're using multiple different weapons in the same combo all at once you're hitting stuff you're jumping in the air firing the guns to like float there for a second which is just cool yeah and you have like your uh classic like style bar where you're like you get all the way up to like stylish when you're killing demons and yeah shit. it's so cool it's so satisfying every weapon's great it, it's great for the same reasons god of war is great god of war has a better like cinematic scale to it but I feel like Devil May Cry has slightly better, like you know, twitch mechanics when you're that you're playing with. So I, I put that at my number one, Devil May Cry three. Yeah, I was gonna own it, but you want to say mine? Like, yeah. okay, obviously, I'd say we kind of agreed that God of War is like the epitome, right? You know, mm-hmm. yeah. without that being said, like, uh, I kind of mentioned we mentioned Ninja Gaiden. I yeah. would say that's number one. Or I mean, I kind of got two because there's this debatable thing, like what Jake just said, mm-hmm. and I like this idea. So I, I'm I'm gonna throw that out there controversy with this beautiful Joe, beautiful Joe two. Yeah, those, those are really those are good. good too. Both mm-hmm. of them. Yeah, and and you know it's very side scroller, you know, mm. but there's that element. And they of, they lift right? yeah. they lift a similar combat to Devil May Cry. They even have the same like style meter on mm-hmm. the top where you can and, like, like plus you can better like pause and rewind and all that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It wasn't fun. that the best? That was mm-hmm. awesome. Nobody's doing that. That was yeah. so cool. <laughs> so if you're listening, uh, list off in the comments what are some of your favorite hack and slash games or beat 'em up games. Listen on your YouTube comments or any of our Apple comments there. Let us know what your favorite games are. All right, let's jump into the last portion of our show, and that is going to be Andy is going to take over uh, what would be a trivia segment, but Andy's got his All own right. twist coming back. Let me get into my announcer mode. Oh, God. Da, da, da. We might have been talking about a lot of Sony games, but let's get back to something we really love, Nintendo. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We know <laughs> in our hearts that they can do no wrong. However, every once in a while, they fall prey to crash Cash crabs, uh oh, <laughs> cash crabs, and cash crab. <laughs> those are the words. <laughs> and shovelware. The game is called Not So Super Smash Brothers. Bum, so bum, bum. the theme of the game is the worst reviewed game in each franchise. Uh oh, oh boy. So keep that in mind. So a couple of things to keep in mind, actually. The worst reviewed game in each franchise. So if I say like Earthbound, what's the worst Earthbound? I'm gonna give it to you. Second thing to keep in mind. There are no games reviewed before 1998-ish on Metacritic. So if there's a worse game that came out before 1998, it probably didn't show up for me, so don't think about it. Okay. This is Metacritical, and I'll spare you the theme song this time. No, We're, no, do it again for the people who didn't listen to uh, the first I don't want to pull it up. <laughs> no, like Seth. What about Seth? I need to know. He needs to hear it. I can't have uh, fun. You, you, can, you can look back uh, I'll, to... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to John. You can edit it. Yeah, I'll edit it in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> So the rules of the game. I'm going to name a game. You have to tell me the score between 1 and 100 of how you think Metacritic looks. The Metacritic scores are based on an average of generally 50 plus noted critics. We'll get to that next. And outlet scores. You will tell me whether you think the player score is higher, lower, or equal to the critic scores. You get one point for being the closest to the actual Metacritic score, and you get one point. Everyone will get one point if you're correct about it being higher, the user score being higher or lower than the critic score. Gotcha. Ready to jump in. Let's do it. Yep. All right. In 2004, fresh off the heels of Metroid Zero Mission, which reimagined the original game, Nintendo decided that re-releasing the worst version of the game was a great idea. The game is classic NES series Metroid, the Game Boy Advance re-release. I think we should rotate who lists lists off their Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with Seth. What do you think the Metacritic score is? I'd say 24%. 24%? And, uh, That's low how, as fuck. I'm saying if it's the worst ever, I guess they might have gotten good scores all the time. All right. I don't know how bad this game is. <laughs> so, you know. I'm and uh, do you think the users were higher or lower? I think the users are higher because they like that way more than the critics right. do. Uh, John? I had the Metacritic score at 76. Okay. And But users were higher as well. All right. 
I had the number at 69, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people definitely liked it better. Yeah. All right. The actual Metacritic score for this game upon re-release, 58. Wow. The user score, 87. Jake, you get two points. John, you get one point. Seth, you get one point. Uh, and I will read you a, a choice quote from a reviewer. You would be better off spending a few extra bucks and getting the Zero Mission game if you don't already have it. Otherwise, I would be very hesitant to spend $20 on this old clunker. Metroid is hard to play. The original. The original yeah, Metroid is, is tough. Just so. get, like, that's exactly right. Just get Zero Mission. It, make, it makes sense that if this came out after Zero Mission, like, just why, guys? Yeah. Other M should be, like, worse than 58%. It's around 70. That's insanity yeah I, I was actually gunning for other m when yeah. i did this and yeah. i was surprised wow actually federation force second worst yeah, i could see that oh that yeah. really doesn't surprise me. i forgot that, that thing existed barely counts mm. yeah uh next up you may not recognize the world's second most famous plumber thomas crapper who founded thomas crapper and company in london in the 1800s but surely you recognize the first most famous plumber mario he jumps on turtles, saves the princess, and he hosts great parties. Notably, the second appearance of Professor E. Gad. The game is Mario Party Advance. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. 27 critics. Woo! That's two Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> is, there, that, is that there, a trend? There's a pattern. Yeah. Game Boy Advance was like where they released a few things that were just like cash grabs. Well, that and like as one of the worst original systems to play on. No e backlight. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Terrible. Oh, boy. Lock in your scores. I also forgot to mention that we're going to do three rounds and then a, a tiebreaker round. I will read the tiebreaker no matter what. Okay. Gotcha. All right, so am I kicking off this time? Yeah, we'll go with John. All right, I said 45. All right. And users were higher. All right. I, I said 44. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. that might screw you. Users are higher. Users are higher? Yeah. Oh, man, you know what? I was literally going to say 45, so that's so crazy. <laughs> no, I said 40, and I said users. Um, higher. Okay. The actual Metacritic score for this game, 54. John, oh, you get a point. Wow. Nice. The, you, the user score, lower. Oh. None of you get a point. The user score, user score was one point lower at 53. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't seem possible. A uh, quote from games. a reviewer: "Possibly the worst video game Nintendo has had the for the misfortune to publish. <laughs> That's avoid, not true. <laughs> avoid at all costs. <laughs> no, no. This is disgracefully bad. I've played this game. It's uh, it's all right. It was not a party. Yeah, yeah, not not, I mean, not a great party. You can only play it single player. Party by yourself. Yeah, it's not a it's <laughs> not <laughs> like no. party. <laughs> Mario Party Advance, man. Did anybody play Mario Party by themselves? I feel like I never did that. I was like, I would yeah, only wait till my friends show up. Not it. a fun game to play mm -hmm. by yourself. John played the uh, hundred challenges by himself. I did. Yeah. I did. Hundred challenges yeah. also not that great of a rating. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. Uh, next up. The series that introduced the world to games with dark dungeons, intricate puzzles, an open world, and even save slots. The series that revolutionizes its genre consistently with every generation of consoles. Except for this one. The game is The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Ooh. This game is the worst rated Zelda game. But that's not on saying Metacritic. much. That's not saying much. Zeldas are usually highly rated. Yeah, that's... All right. Okay. I think... The number I'm guessing is 72. Is that your official answer? That's my answer. Okay, yeah. So we yeah, we are starting with you. All right, yeah. 72. And you think users are higher or lower? Lower. I don't think they like this game at all. Okay. So 72 yeah. and lower. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I was gonna go higher than this, but not whatever. Um, 55. Okay. Um, and I think the critics liked it more than the users. All right. So the users would be lower. Yes. So you both have users lower. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Actually, Johnny. It was 74. Okay. okay. And I chose lower as well. We have a tie. Uh-oh. John and Jake are both one point off from the actual Metacritic score of 73. Oh! The users <laughs> liking the game more than the critics. Oh. We are officially going into the tiebreaker round. But, uh, but, but, uh, Play but. some intense All right. music. <laughs> so, Seth, unfortunately, you are fucking out. Oh, man, I fucking ah. So I'm the worst reviewed the, of all the things. The nice thing about this is you don't have to pay attention to play. <laughs> oh, man, do I get, do I get tortured? What, like, is it like a negative? Like yes, go, go into the uh, torture chair. We're going to stretch your limbs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very weird room we're in right now. <laughs> yeah. Torture chairs and lots of strange yeah. things. Yeah, you, you don't want All right, are you ready, combatants? Let's do it. 
Although not a Nintendo character, he does appear in Super Smash Bros. This iconic blue creature Mega gave Man. Mario a run for his money in the 90s, but couldn't make the jump to 3D. Instead, coming out with a rash of trash for the next 15 years. <laughs> Some say if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Sonic. Unfortunately for Sonic the Hedgehog, he's still struggling to put his best foot forward. The name of the game is... Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. Oh, oh God. God. Man. Fuck. Let me say that again because we got booze right away. Sonic Boom, The Rise of Lyric. This is the second one in the Sonic Boom series, right? <laughs> Current gen games get reviewed by quite a few people, 50 plus, 28 yeah. critics. Wow. Even bothered with this. Can I throw in an answer? Just even though I'm not in the conversation. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Yeah. All right. So... Who's kicking it off? We're locked in? Both yeah. locked in? All right. Mm -hmm. Should let's, I go since I don't matter? Let's start with Seth, who doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't matter at all, yes. All right. Um, I decided to go really low and say 30. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty low. And I think the users liked it more than the critics. All right. But it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Let's go with John. I uh, chose 36. Okay. And I said lower. You said the uh, users liked it lower. Yep. Yeah. This is going to be Mo weird. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Um. I remember this game coming out and it getting a lot of shitty ass reviews. So I did twenty two, <laughs> and the yeah, users, that's probably yeah, right. and users. I I think the users liked it a little bit more because twenty two is so low. Sonic always get, can get some bad reviews. The review for this game, Sonic Boom: Rise of Lyric, is the mark of Vulcan. <laughs> it should not be touched. <laughs> you tied again. The Metacritic, 32. John is closer. The users liked it more. Jake, you are bet right on that one. So what do we do now? Oh, know. the only one that I won oh, is you know the one what? that didn't matter. Uh, may maybe I shouldn't include the user score thing for the tiebreaker, so John wins. Because uh, otherwise, uh, there's oh, going to be a tie. Oh, yeah. you just keep playing the game? No, nah, John wins. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Hey, congratulations. Boot, you uh, win. Yeah. That's a pity you, win right there. Yeah, yeah we win. ended with a sonic boom. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, see, I, <laughs> yeah, the tiebreaker is always kind of a weirdo yeah, in this is. game. So. And that was literally the worst. Yeah, and you, yeah. Know, and you win and you don't get a prize. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. you, you, they, don't, they don't get uh, bragging rights. I'm, 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 on a three, I'm on a three-win oh. streak when I'm not hosting, by Man, the way. So that yeah, is bragging Well, you know rights. what you should have done is brought the shitty game, and that would be the prize, right? Oh, yeah, you get Sonic. <laughs> sonic Boom. Here I'm, not, I'm not spending $2 on a Sonic <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Nobody's doing that. <laughs> Well, thank you, Andy. That was awesome. I love Metacritic game. Oh, thank you so much. It's it's probably my favorite game we've played. On I, this yeah, I, like I spent that. so much that, time ripping it off from other yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, but that really shows if you know what you're talking about mm -hmm. or not, right? You do the best, yeah, Andy. It really does. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And you can check out more trivia games like that on our podcast, Cold Ones. Yeah, let's That's get to plug. that. So, uh, Who's R? R, me and Travis. R. Me and my, me and my buddy Travis. You know, huh. you know Travis. <laughs> this has been episode 38 of so many All Stars. You can find us on all kinds. Uh, social media, the first one being Facebook at Sumini All Stars. You can find us on Twitter at SmazPod. You can find us on Instagram at Sumini All Stars. You can find me on Instagram at Steelbook Obsessed. I'm so close to a thousand followers, it's bugging me because I can't <sighs> pass it yet, but I'm so fucking close. So follow me on there. Uh, so you two. Yeah. Anything uh, to plug? Metacritical yep. and more brought to you by Cold Ones. We are Cold Ones on iTunes. That's just my side project eventually. You know, we'll have everybody on. There you go. Seth, come yeah, on. Yeah, and my name's Seth Churchill. I'm also known as Sparky Sin from SinX. I own my own website, SinX.com, S-I-N-N-X.com. Go there. You can buy merchandise, and you can hear my music and check out all my content as well. I'm a musician and an artist and uh, all around just kind of jack-of-all-trades. So, you know, look into me if you think I'm awesome. Now there that's a fucking plug. Yeah, well, yeah. Hell yeah. You got very serious. Yeah. Nah, no, that, it's the only thing that mattered. No. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the shit you just kind of throw out there, you know. Thanks whatever. for coming on the podcast, mm -hmm. dick. Yeah, thanks, guys. Now, you know what? You guys are uh, super media all stars are the best, right? Straight up. Be you sure can't call yourself an all star if you're not fucking awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> Be sure to check us out on your Apple podcast service thing. Well, the name was available. You can also listen to us on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might have been one. Sorry. You can listen to us on Google Play, and if you're an internet radio fan, check us out on TuneIn. And as always, check out all our content on YouTube at Sumini All Stars. We post our uh, podcasts, unboxing videos, music soundtracks, all our good stuff out there. We have a next week or so, we'll have a God of War Stone Mason Edition unboxing. Yeah, you bought that collector's edition, didn't you? It's the biggest one. Yeah. So we're going to see how that bad boy looks Ooh. inside. How big you talking? Yeah, how big? The box is big, guys. Oh, oh, so big. There's a statue inside. 
good sized statue. Like seeing a hard, rigid statue every time you open a box. <laughs> this thing showed up on a fucking semi. <laughs> they graded it in. It's a big box. You, you open the semi and Kratos came out and killed you. <laughs> so uh, we also got um, a gauntlet from the Infinity uh, w- w- movie coming out. Yeah, this fucking thing is huge. It's the thing that Thanos wears that puts all the Infinity Stones in. Mm. Uh, John bought one of those, mm, and it's no fucking way. enormous. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> what a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> hey. we'll be, we'll be no, I totally want that. With that movie coming out, like you just wear it to the movie. That's what I'm planning on He's doing. Going to. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone does that have a does that have a spot for like your drink, like the Hulk fist thing? No, but yeah. the fingers yeah. college sports. The fingers games. have triggers, so you move the fingers yeah. with your hand. Did you bring it? Oh, right. I gotta bring it with me. Oh, I gotta watch it. I will this. I will bring it next time. Okay, yeah. sweet. <laughs> Jake um just posted a recently good video of um still book searching. Yeah, went to a used bookstore. Oh, did I find anything? Better watch it. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> Intrigue. Yeah, while you're, on, while you're on YouTube, also check it out. We also had a really good Loot Crate unboxing that you... It was really good for Jake. It was super solid, yeah. I liked that pretty much great. everything that was in yeah. it. Yeah, I was a little box. jealous of the uh, Sonic figure. It's so cool looking. Yeah, yeah a, lot of good, a lot of goodies compared to the last... Check that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Good last few greats. But that being said, episode 38. Guys, I thank you for joining me tonight. Audience, thank you for thank listening. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm really glad to be here. I had a lot of fun. So, yeah, yeah, Synex.com, two ends. <laughs> yes, two ends. Mm-hmm. S-I-N-N-X dot com. Until next time, we'll see ya. Aries! <laughs> <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. Bye bye. <laughs> I am out of here.